Hello everybody and welcome back to Ultimate Sims Guides. My name is Taylor for those of you that don't know and today uh, once again we are doing something a little bit different. If you missed the first episode of this series on Saturday you should definitely go back and watch that but we are doing the 100 baby challenge here on this channel and this channel is usually um, how-to videos in The Sims and things of that nature but I really wanted to add a little bit more of me and a little bit more fun to this channel. So I really hope you're okay with that. Um, there still will be three how-to guide type videos every single week, don't worry about that, but I'm also going to add some fun stuff like speed builds and 100 baby videos in between. So I really hope that you guys are okay with that. As you can see, <laughs> our matriarch sim here has had a rough night. She is pregnant with her first baby, but she did just get almost swallowed by the Murphy bed and she's starving. So we're not having the greatest start to our day, and she is going to be feeling rather uncomfortable, but we're definitely going to focus on getting her that handiness skill a lot more so that we can upgrade the Murphy bed while we're living in this tiny home until we end up with a ton of babies, because I'm not so sure <laughs> that this is going to be a good thing and be functional for us for long if she wakes up miserable every day because her bed tries to eat her. So for those of you that may have missed the first episode, we are living on this lot in Sulani, and I just kind of converted the house that was already here into a tiny home in the last episode. I just wanted the surroundings to be beautiful while there's chaos happening inside with all the children. I don't plan on her living in Sulani forever. I'm not really sure when we'll move, but I do think that we will move at some point. So we're just going to get her some food because obviously she's not having the best day. <laughs> so, you know, eat the food. And then we should probably repair this. I really hope it doesn't kill her or anything along those lines because that would be bad. And then you can finish eating your mac and cheese because yum. I could totally go for some mac and cheese right now. The funny thing is mac and cheese is my favorite food, but I am allergic to gluten and dairy. So it's one of those things I can't eat. <laughs> there are gluten-free mac and cheeses, but they still destroy my stomach. So my life is just the worst. <laughs> So as you can see, our house is tiny. It's kind of cute though. I really like having a TV on this little thing. It does look a little ridiculous now with the red plum bob lamps, but we want to make sure that any, 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 what are words? That any gentleman that walks into this house is able to get her pregnant. Um, should definitely go use the toilet and then do some painting. No, abstract paintings are not fun. Let's do a large classic painting and then we can just kind of watch her paint for a little bit. I wonder if she'll be any good at it. So the whole reason why I wanted her to live in a tiny house was so that she gained her skills faster. So you can see she's only at level, or she's already at level five of painting. And I think she's only done two, maybe three paintings in her entire existence. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, this was our first baby daddy. His name is Makoa. And we also, we decided to ask him to just be friends after so that our romance bar would be empty so I could tell who we'd already had babies with a little bit easier. And then we also have Chase already on the back burner, ready to get us pregnant from the last episode. And then we just have some people that we met that we don't care about. <laughs> that sounds terrible, but I only want to be friends with people who can give me babies. So yeah, the whole reason I wanted to get her to live in a tiny house was, or a micro home for now, it won't be a micro home for long because we will need room for all the children, is that I wanted her to be able to increase her skills quickly. And I wanted her to have the let's all get along relationship gains at the beginning before she's able to build up a reputation and build up her charisma skill to get better relationships right off the bat. And I also think that things like lighten the load are definitely helpful. So you got the touch. Your skills increase at double the standard rate. So right now she'd only be at painting level three and her paintings would not be as high of quality and we wouldn't be making nearly as much money without living in this micro home. So I definitely want to keep that going for a little while. Let's do, let's paint from reference. Maybe we can take a picture of something outside. Can I put the walls down? Will that work? Except just kidding. I think I, oh, did I click figure painting? Figure? I don't even know how to say that. It always sounds ridiculous when it comes out of my mouth. She is getting quite hungry. How far along are we? The third trimester is in 12 hours. So it's definitely something that we should be getting ready for. I'm nervous. Okay, so let's sell that painting to a collector. That is not what I was trying to do. And now she's famous. <laughs> I always find it like a little bit ridiculous how easy it is to, isn't paint from reference like you take a picture? Okay. Oh, 
Can we just like take a picture of things outside? Beautiful. It's beautiful. Probably will sell for almost nothing, but I've always found it ridiculous. <laughs> I'm all over the place today. How easy it is to get to the first level of being famous through painting. Like I just find that it's a little bit too simple. Okay, you should go use the bathroom. We'll get rid of that. I spent pretty much all of her money in the first part on the nano can touchless trash can just so that we could throw things away and make money from it. Because eventually when we do have seven kids in the home at once, that's $80 every time. Finish cooking. Don't watch TV. We don't have time for that. Which I definitely think will be helpful. She'll also be able to get her cooking skill up quicker at the beginning. I'm not entirely sure. Can you finish cooking? <laughs> I've had this glitch in my game for about a month, maybe two months now. Like not the last pack, but the one before that where they never cook consistently. They just kind of give up halfway through. Drives me crazy. But we will put our bed down. And probably take a nap. Because she's quite tired, but it's only 1.30 p.m. Literally me. I'm the one who's quite tired when it's only 1.30 p.m. Right now, it's about 12.30, so my nap time is coming. I'm sorry, ma'am. I like your flower crown, but you already don't like me. Why is the welcome wagon here again? Oh, they're just bringing me extra food. But he already got me pregnant. I'm pretty sure that's his wife, and I don't need to have that drama in my life. Oh, sorry we missed you, but we'll be sure to bring you by extra food. Well, I'm going to take the food that they made me and keep that. Okay, let's go use the toilet, take a shower, just to make sure that she stays clean. And we'll resume our large painting from reference, and then maybe invite Chase to hang out, just so we can get our social up a little bit. And he's already going to be our next baby daddy. Did he just come over on his own? Where is he? Oh, there he is. I love that. Okay, let's go talk to him for a little bit. Let's go woohoo with Chase. You know, why not? Oh, oh. Oh, does I asked him to just be friends, so he isn't allowed to care that I'm woohooing with Chase. So there won't be any drama. We're good. Don't worry. <laughs> That's also another reason why I wanted to ask everyone to just be friends. Chase is an alien? Well, then... <laughs> Why is that so funny to me? Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, okay, let's go tell him a dramatic story because he's an alien. Give him a compliment and then maybe just ask him to leave and get yourself some leftovers. <laughs> maybe our next baby will be an alien. <laughs> I'm not starting all over and having a second baby with somebody else. We're not building a new relationship yet. We're not ready for that. That's so funny. I'm so glad Chase is an alien. Uh, okay, let's go take a nap. <laughs> so here we are in the morning. I had a weird glitch where she wouldn't go to the toilet and then spent 10 minutes trying to get her to use her toilet. I'm not really sure what's happening there. She's going to get herself some leftovers. We're going to have to fix the Murphy bed. And we're also going to buy a lottery ticket. It is $100, which is kind of a lot of money for us right now. But if we win the lottery, that would be insane. Like, could you imagine... And this, game, this whole series would just be so easy <laughs> if we just had a million simoleons. I would build the most epic baby house in the entire world. It would be beautiful. Okay, so your painting is done. It's very weird looking, but we can make $500 off of it. Are we already winning the lottery? Okay, so I'm going to get her to repair that. And then I think before the baby comes, because the baby should be here soon, I might put some of this stuff in my inventory and get her the woodworking table so that we can get her handiness skill up while also still being able to make money from her because we need all the money we can get. So she just reached handiness level three, but to be able to upgrade this, oh, it's broken. I can't even read it yet. I believe you have to be at level six to be able to upgrade the Murphy bed. And I don't want the Murphy bed to be an issue in my household for long, but I do believe that, oh, maybe she can upgrade it now. Get yourself two upgrade cards. Okay, cool. Upgrade. So we can get the reduces how often the bed will break upgrade already. But to make sure that it never breaks and won't kill us, that has to be, I believe, level eight. Which is this one here. Yeah. So we're definitely going to have to get our handiness up. It'll just be nice to have, too, so she can fix things more quickly and not be as big of a mess. So we are already handiness level four. I'm telling you. The tiny living benefits are really great, and I'm going to hate when we have a second second matriarch and I can no longer have these things. So let's craft 
Hmm. Let's get a cute, the mirror is pretty cute that they make. Or just patiently doing things while waiting until she has a baby. Like that's the whole vibe right now. Plus we can decorate our house with some of the things that she makes. Well, not most of the things because they take up too much space. So we have a tiny home. Whoop. So she has finished making a mirror. We could also make her maybe a cute garden pot. And we could have a couple plants. There's so much stuff in our inventory. <laughs> Why do we have a fridge in our inventory? Two chairs. This is from when I bought the house and then made the house smaller. So we have this mirror that she made that's worth $175. Would it fit in the bathroom? Because that could be cute. Okay, let's sell this little mirror and then have this giant mirror. It's not the best looking quality, but I do think that she did a good job. Love me giant rustic looking mirrors. Okay, well now it's just kind of in the way. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay we'll go this way just so we can keep the mirror that she made because she made it with love okay we can go use the toilet where am I gonna put the baby hmm maybe the baby will have to hang out beside the fridge and then I'll move this over here I should just get a bassinet now I really hope that she does not have more than one baby I also don't want any of the boring bassinets that we have in the game. I'm going to use the Spellcaster bassinets from Realm of Magic. These are absolutely beautiful. There's also the Vampire bassinets that are really pretty. But I just, this one oh, just is so pretty and like the, oh. I like to buy them instead of having my babies appear in the ugly ones. So that's just who I am as a person. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad that I'm like forcing this very pregnant woman to like build furniture and stuff like am I a bad person maybe at least her neighbors brought her food we've got I actually think that these are the cutest garden pot size like the single single tile garden things in the game like I really don't like the circle ones that much I think that these are real cute cute what season is it is it almost oh it's only spring so it's not gonna be harvest fest anytime soon do I want to go to a crazy party at the Bluffs with my <laughs> baby daddy? <laughs> Absolutely, I want to go to a crazy party with my baby daddy, who was wearing a snorkeling mask, if you didn't notice. That's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my entire existence. The best part? <laughs> look how cute <laughs> Elle Faba looks at this party. Like, she does not look like one of the very important people. <laughs> we can at least like invite to feel baby, tell him a funny story, and then we'll just go off and start meeting some other gentlemen's. I don't think I've ever actually gone to a party at the Bluffs. Who's this? Oh yeah, we're gonna friendly introduction you. Victor Fang is one of the harder ones to get to have a baby with. He is very committed to his wife. <laughs> Who's the DJ? Kelly Fields, is that Kelly as in a woman or a man? Okay. I absolutely love unisex names. Like my name is Taylor, which could be a name for a boy or a girl. Names like Devin or Kelly. Like I love when men are named Ashley. I just think it's so cool to like, I don't know. That's a whole conversation for another day. <laughs> I'm just a bit of a weirdo. So we now know one, two, only two. I need more potential baby daddies. Friendly introduction. Where are you right now? Oh, and she's gone into labor. We are going to end this dance party and go home to have our first child. <laughs> oh, boysies. I don't think I'm ready. This... <laughs> The regret of the 100 baby challenge is starting to hit me now that she's actually having a baby. Also, what else is wrong with her? She slept in a bush while she was there? What a special snowflake. Okay, let's go have a baby. Penelope is having a baby. It's a girl. Now, because the mom's name is Penelope and I really like pineapples, I think I'm just going to name this first baby Pineapple. <laughs> it's only one baby 
and I'm okay with that to be honest. So we are going to feed this baby, cuddle this baby, and hope that this baby doesn't hate us for the rest of its life. So let's get some leftovers for that little woman. She has reached parenting level one. She's now able to influence her children's behavior a little bit more. We'll definitely get to parenting level 10 by the end of this because there's going to be a lot of parenting happening. And I cannot wait for super efficient baby care. That is my favorite thing that happens. She's going to pass out. Yep, it's going to happen. I need you to go change your baby's diaper, though. What did you do with your plate? Oh, boy. I don't know what she did with her dirty dish. Unless it's in her inventory. Yeah. That's okay. Just put it on the floor. <laughs> The lottery was successful. Are we going to win? We will find out soon. Dun, dun, dun. Let's actually get you to wake up and go get some leftovers. Maybe feed your baby. I'm so sad that I'm already going to lose my ability to have a micro home because I need a room for this toddler. Can I just make the toddler live on the beach? <laughs> I know I can't. Like, that's mean. I shouldn't do that. But it'd be funny. <laughs> Reach parenting level two can now influence children to do homework. Okay. Just became, Penelope and Pineapple just became good friends. How happy are we that that happened? So let's bottle feed this little nugget. And then we are going to call over our boy, Chase, who we have now found out is an alien. We've already reached parenting level three. So this tiny house is incredible. Chase will be right over. So let's go invite him in and try for baby. He's freaking out over the baby that's not even his. It's not even his baby. Why are you freaking out, homie? If it was your baby, I understand you freaking out. Okay, go take a pregnancy test. And we are already eating for two. I'm obsessed with this woman. She's incredible. She is so good at this. <laughs> Congratulations, Penelope is expecting. And now he's going to have a moment where he freaks out. They just became good friends, but we are going to have a little bit of a sad moment where we ask him to just be friends. <laughs> now that I have gotten pregnant with your child, I no longer need you, sir. So I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna drink my water, I'm gonna go take a shower, and I'm gonna say goodbye, kind sir, and then go to sleep. <laughs> oh boy. So we need to create three emotional paintings, which we can work on during this pregnancy. I also want to invite, oh, she just went for a swim, and we didn't win the lottery. It was wishful thinking, I think, but it'd be nice if it actually happened. Uh, okay. I hate how often my Sims get glasses of water, but then I can trash can them, and they make me $20, so am I really that mad? I don't think so. Okay, baby needs me. Change diaper. Feed. Cuddle. Rock. Shush. Bounce. We'll probably get another parenting level just from these interactions alone. Look how fast it's going up. I'm going to be so sad to lose this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We are going to milk this as long as I possibly can. Okay. Go get yourself some leftovers. And then I need you to craft. Congratulations on the new addition. You too, sir. Um, we'll make some more garden pots and garden planters. Because I do want to have a little garden at some point. I don't know, maybe. Do I? <laughs> I never know what I want her to do. Handiness level five. Her chance of electrocution is now lower. That's convenient. She'll probably be able to finish them both. Uh, she's so messy. Yeah, see, I was like, oh, I want a garden. And now I'm like, I don't want a garden. Uh... Throughout this series, you'll learn that I may be the most indecisive person that ever did exist on this planet, and that one second I'll say one thing, and the next second I'll say another. So, take everything I say at face value, friends, because... Oh, my toilet's broken! Thankfully, she has handiness level 5 from being awesome. Now my baby's angry. I don't think I'm ready for the moment when we have more babies. Let's go cuddle, rock, and bounce. I honestly might spend all of my money, <laughs> which may be ridiculous, but I might spend all of my money on the more expensive toilet, the unbreakable one. Which one is it? It's not that one. It's this one. The Sweet Escapes Country Toilet is unbreakable, and it's $1,800. So if I just buy this toilet, I don't have to ever fix it. I could just upgrade it, but 
It's more fun to just buy an unbreakable toilet. That's so cool. Because then we can do other upgrades to it. Like superior flush self-cleaning and getting a bidet. I really want a bidet in real life. That's a weird topic to go into, like cleaning buttholes and things, but that sounds great. It's almost pineapple's birthday. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're not allowed to grow up, pineapple. Part of me just wants to get her to sleep on the couch for a few days instead of getting her a bed so we can keep this micro home vibe. I guess because I'm not really using that area. I wonder if I could make this two tiles. Let's see what we can do. So I've placed all 32 tiles, but these two tiles are essentially useless. So I've placed 30 tiles. Could I like move this over by two and then have it more like that? I'd have to fix the roofing. But then, like, a toddler bed could, in theory, go right here for now. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. We're going to make this work as long as we possibly can. It'll probably only be until baby number two turns into a toddler. But I am determined. <laughs> Just saying. We are going to add superior flush to that toilet. I want these kids to feel so supported when they're using the bathroom. I want them to be the happiest. I want nothing to do with you, but if Caleb, Caleb Vator wants to come over, I will have his vampire baby. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh boy. She has now finished installing the toilet upgrade. Can you like leave? Bye. You're a vampire. Stay away from my baby. Let's go feed our little nugget. Talk and rock and bounce. Bounce, bounce, bounce. And then maybe we will go back to sleep. I definitely think that with two toddlers, like, or with probably up to like three, maybe four kids, I should still be able to keep in the 64 tile tiny home limit. I just don't think that having a micro home is feasible. And you get to which things do you get in tiny home? You do still get your skills double with a tiny home, so that could be very helpful. But I do think that it will be a small home for most of this series. But I'm definitely going to keep this just so we have less bills. But these could all be very helpful as well. But you got the touch is the best one. She's gonna be like the best sim ever and have so many skills so soon. So let's get her to actually we'll serve breakfast because this baby's gonna be a toddler any minute now. Um you're so annoying with all of your cups, woman. Put your cups away. Look at our peaceful, like, look how cute these little toddlers look in this little, these aren't, that's not a toddler, that's a baby. But these little bassinets are just so pretty. Okay, we'll put the rest in our fridge. It is now love day. So should we, who do we want to have a baby with? Should we ruin Cameron Fletcher's life? Because, you know, he's currently in university at Foxbury Institute. He was in the trailer, you know, he's a little bit famous right now, <laughs> but we could ruin his life. So let's invite him in. Stop drinking water, you crazy person. See, he's already feeling flirty. I should bring back the, let's put this in our inventory, bring this back out just so I can have a flirty lamp sitting on it <laughs> to make sure that he stays feeling flirty. So we're going to share the love day spirit a little bit. And then we honestly might just go in with a flirt because he's feeling flirty. Oh, better enable the emotional aura so that she's also feeling flirty. Cameron wants it. <laughs> oh, I feel guilty though. We're gonna throw some love day confetti. Do a sexy pose even though she's pregnant. I guess like pregnant women can, well, I don't know. I think that's weird. Oh, why did they lose romantic relationships? Does he not love us? Oh, let's have our first kiss. Oh, oh, <laughs> I really hope that my baby has that hair. And if it doesn't, when it's a child, do the children get that hairdo? I want my baby to look just like him. <laughs> I think he's so cute. I remember everybody like freaking out because of his hairdo in the trailer. I thought that was awesome. But we're going to woohoo with Cameron. We're doing it. We're going to have a great one day. <laughs> She's like, oh, let's woohoo. Oh, I just got to put my cup down because I drink ridiculous amounts of water. Because I'm the worst person that's ever existed on this planet. Oh boy. Okay, well, I guess I don't really need you anymore. <laughs> Let's give him a rose. Oh, he's about to do his homework. 
Oh, we'll have a passionate kiss and then we'll ask him to leave because we don't really need him. But we had a decent love day anyway. We're gonna go take a cold shower. She's feeling too flirty. We don't need her to get that crazy. And then we'll go and feed our baby. I always find it weird when they're in those open showers and they're just standing there naked like... Like, I know you're pixelated, but it's making me uncomfortable. <laughs> Reached parenting level five. She can now ground her children who misbehave. Um, one thing I'm wondering if I should do is get... I don't have enough money. Never mind. I was going to get a computer so we could order some upgrade parts. So that I could just use... Instead of using... <gasps> do I not have... <laughs> this is kind of an important thing so that I can know if my house is on fire. I also don't really need that TV or two of these. <laughs> I have so many things that are just unnecessary. And we'll just bring that little table out. Actually, if I get the tiny living desk and a little chair. Hmm, I like this chair a lot because it looks like the chairs that are in my dining room. And then like get her a computer. Could I put this just chilling up there and then we can sell that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That is beautiful and then that way I can order some upgrade parts and keep upgrading things until we can get to the point oh no not upgrade um order <laughs> upgrade parts perfect let's get some common upgrade parts and some plumbing upgrade parts and then we can go in and continue upgrading the toilet that we spent $1,800 on a little bit uh a little steep but that's okay that is A-OK. -okay. And then we can have some tofu tacos for lunch because delicious. Why does one of our future baby daddies care that we became friends with Cameron? We barely know him. So you've now reached handiness level six. So because of tiny living, this honestly, part of this just feels like a sales pitch for tiny living because of all the things you get. But she's already at level six handiness and painting and level five parenting. And level three cooking. So she's doing really well. Like, I think she's doing awesome. So let's go cook a meal. She's feeling so confident. She is killing it. And I might actually use that confidence because part of her aspiration, we will be ignoring the baby, but part of her aspiration is that she needs to finish um, three confident paintings. And honestly, we're just going to throw that away for the money. So that's important to me. Uh, change dirty diaper, feed, and cuddle. You might... Might pass out, but that's okay. It's fine. We don't care if she passes out. So we did finish one of our emotional paintings, and we can sell that to a collector. Beautiful. 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 Sell that. Okay, go use the toilet, then get yourself some leftovers, and then you can go to sleep. It's going great. I probably should delete the door. <laughs> I still have a door back here from when we had a little balcony that she was going to paint on, but then it just kept raining. But it's a door to nowhere, and I feel like once my kid's a toddler, that might be dangerous, and my kid might die. So, maybe not my best plan. Okay. Eat your eggs and toast, sweetie. And then you can go to sleep. Go to sleep. The Spice Festival is in town, but we will not be attending. I am so sorry to disappoint. I feel like deep down, our first baby daddy really just wants to be our our husband, even though he's already married, because he invites us everywhere. Oh, Chase also wants, like, they, they just want to be our friend. I get it. Like, we're the best. Cannot believe he's an alien. I really hope that our baby is also an alien. Just saying. <laughs> oh my god, now he wants to go to the opera with us. <laughs> I'm telling you, he just wants to be with us forever. Okay, let's change your dirty diaper and feed you and cuddle you and rock you and bounce you. We can talk to you. <laughs> We're just going to be like the most extra parent ever so that we can continue to get our parenting skill. And then we're going to use the toilet. Oh my goodness, that's the third time he's invited us somewhere in one night. Like he really is obsessed with us. Why are you so obsessed with me? Oh, 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 and then we can serve some garden salad. I'd rather have too much food and throw it away than not have enough food when I do have toddlers. So just throwing that out there. Your sink is so dirty now. Why are you so messy? Oh, oh, just kidding. Abort mission. We are going to flirty introduce ourselves to Caleb. Now she has a quirk. What is going on? 
flirt. We can already have our first kiss with him when we just met. That's a little much, but we're going to do it. We're absolutely going to do it. We're going to have alien babies. We're going to have vampire babies. Oh my goodness. Is it weird to... <laughs> what am I doing? Oh my goodness gracious. Can we... We're going to woohoo with Kayla. Can they get to the bed? Yes. Okay, good. I was wondering if the easel was in the way. So now we have Cameron Fletcher and Caleb lined up as our next two baby daddies. I'm just taking advantage of everything that's being thrown at me right now. We can just sell that. Why not? Um, Caleb, you can leave. <laughs> I don't really need you anymore. Bye. Bye. Thanks for hanging out. See you later. <laughs> All right, guys, with that, I think that's where I'm going to wrap this episode up. She's just headed to bed. We'll sell this bowl. And our beautiful baby pineapple will be aging up very, very soon. I'm honestly tempted to go with a lot of fruit names for the first little bit. Because, you know, Penelope, pineapple, apple is a name. And she's awake again. This is just tragic. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed this part of the 100 Baby Challenge. And if you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And subscribe for more content like this, as well as how-tos and guides on how to play The Sims better. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you happen to be, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.